Virgos, come on in, come on in, y'all. We are going to do your quick read for this evening. Let's go ahead and dive in, and we're going to first check the overall energy. See what's going on with you. Hey, my loves. Hey, hey. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Happy hump day. Y'all are almost there. Shout out to my people who booked your reading, taking advantage of the sale. You book your reading if you want to catch the sale. You book it or closer the number to my destiny.com we are doing five question reads on sale for $14 off they are originally what is that $14 they're originally $60 and they are now $46 so they are $14 off y'all get it while the getting is good let's see what's going on with Virgo today what's happening with my Virgos if you want your prayer, it's on the previous video. We're diving right in. Overall energy for Virgo. Show me clear messages. What's going on, Virgo? Overall energy. All right, Virgo. So you are standing in your power right now. Somebody's feeling guilty. Um, feeling like they should have taken care of you when they had the chance. They should have nurtured you, cared for you, made the right decision maybe. When you when they had the chance, somebody wants to nurture you and console you. They feel guilty. Somebody feels like they sabotaged something. Somebody is it's like they're at fault and they are acknowledging that. What did they do? What happened? What's going on? Somebody was phony, a fraud, pretending that something wasn't the way it is, trying to lead you on, or somebody misled you, where all you were doing was trying to take care of them, and they were being fake, phony. Somebody's saying, I need to do some soul searching. Somebody needs to do some soul searching. Not wanting to look at a situation. For some of you guys, it could be a twin flame. Something having to do with a career, contract, or commitments could even be work. Somebody could have got fired and pretended like everything was okay until the bills piled up. Or maybe you found out that somebody got fired. Yeah, with the moon, keeping a secret about it. Something having to do with contracts, career, and commitments. Let's see what's going on here. Look at this reunion underneath the bottom of the deck. Somebody's in their feelings, wanting to build structure, solid foundation. Somebody's feeling bad about something. What's going on here? What is happening here for Virgo? Let's take a look. What is going on? Let me get my deck. Let me get the other deck, y'all. We're going to do the, tra the traditional really quickly. And I'm sending each and every one of you love, light, and positive energy. What the heck is happening right now? Okay, what is going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me for Virgo. Show me what is going on here for Virgo. Somebody is really feeling bad. We're about to look and see what this proves this person and how, why are they feeling so bad. Virgo, you're standing in your power. I feel like your intuition told you something was wrong. What's going on? Show me. Show me more about this energy. What's happening here? Show me North Node for Virgo purpose. Oh, Virgo, this hurts your feelings. Whatever this is, like you're really disappointed and really hurt by something that happened. Whatever this is that you found out about this person not telling the truth or not being real with you, whatever you found out that they were hiding really hurt your feelings. And I feel like they lied with these swords through the heart. I feel like you gave somebody an opportunity to tell the truth and they lied. And it, it hurt your feelings. It was heartbreaking. I feel like all you've been trying to do is look out for this person or take care of this person. This could even be somebody's child. This could be a relative, love, whatever it is. Um, this is how somebody is feeling and they feel really bad because you're very nurturing and kind-hearted to them. And they know that they hurt your heart. They hurt your feelings. So they're feeling terrible about hurting your heart with these lies. There's rumors about how this person lies. People are talking about how they are. Show me nurture, compassion. Why, why is Virgo's heart broke? What's happening here? 
Oh my gosh. Because of what you found out. You found out some news from this person. And it really hurt your heart. It hurt your feelings. Whatever you found out, it was heartbreaking. Because you found out like somebody lied. And here's the tower bringing down a foundation that was built on lies. You, you found out that somebody was being dishonest. Somebody was being reckless. Just ignorant or something. Somebody, whatever they did, they did, they... They feel guilty. They sabotage it. So somebody did this. They purposely brought the tower down. They didn't expect for things to go the way they did. And they feel guilty. They feel stupid and foolish about what they did. Because all you were trying to do was take care of them. You were trying to nurture them. Take care of them. Make things stable for them. You showed them so much compassion and love. And this person feels. They, they feel really low. Show me what's going on with this nurturing and compassion. Somebody could be praying. This could be somebody in a um, relationship. I feel like you're Virgo. This is your energy. I feel somebody sees you as this, as the Hierophant energy. This could be a Taurus for somebody, but I feel like um, for somebody, it's an air sign with the swords. Doesn't have to be. But the source is also representing communication. And I really feel like somebody lied. They were dishonest. And this is gossip. Talking. You found out the truth about something with this page of swords seeking what can't be. What's not being seen on the surface. That's what the page of swords does. Finds out um, information. Seeks information. Wanting to know more. Ask questions. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Very intellectual analytical and with the hierophant card the hierophant is talking about faith it's talking about somebody who gives great advice spiritual advice somebody who is very spiritually powerful and wise um the spiritual leader even somebody could be praying to god for protection for nurturing for care um because they feel guilty they feel bad or this is you, somebody who is very nurturing, loving, and very spiritually wise, giving great advice, um, very high ranking spiritually, right? What's the Hierophant representing right now? This is love. A confession, somebody opening up, talking to them. They're thinking about coming towards you, opening up their heart, telling you how they feel. This could even represent an apology, but more than that, somebody actually opening up, letting you know how they feel in a particular situation. And they're thinking about doing this, coming forward, just opening up to you. What's in this cup that this person is offering Virgo? Hold on, let's find out what they're going to say. Let's see. As a matter of fact, really quickly. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. What's this person coming to what Virgo saying? What's this person want to say? Because they're caught. Whatever this is, they got caught. This is exposed, and now that the secrets are exposed, this person feels horrible because it's causing a tower. It's causing a, a huge interference. What's this? Oh, let me see. Detachment. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Virgo, this could be how you're feeling because it randomly came out, and I honestly feel like this is your, your energy toward this. I had to let this go. So what's this person coming to what Virgo saying? I don't know if we will ever change. Somebody wants to open it up and admit that. And what else? Habits. Somebody's telling them that they have bad telling you that they have bad habits. And then disagree disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. So somebody wishes you understood how they feel. You could be going back and forth with this person. 
about faith and stability and doing the right thing, but I feel like you're nurturing them. This is why for somebody, it could be a, a child, it could be a teenager, or it doesn't have to be. It could even be a spouse or something like that, but Virgo, I feel like you're trusting faith or trusting God to help or bring something together or be with you as you go down this path with this person to confront them or talk to them about whatever this situation is because it's a tower. A huge tower moment. Show me what else this person is bringing to a Virgo. What are they offering? What's this? I'm afraid of what people would think about what they did, about... They were even afraid of what you might think. Because I feel like this is why they didn't tell you. What else? Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Somebody's admitting that they're immature. Sometimes they're careless and a bit reckless. This is somebody who is younger, possibly. Um, or somebody who is younger minded. What else is here? I want to fix our connection and I'm overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me because they've been beating themselves up before you found out. And I feel like that, that was God revealing it to you because I honestly feel like you were trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt. Anything else from this person? So the lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So I feel like that's that's how this person is feeling. That's how this person is feeling. And Virgo, I just feel like you're saying I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Like you didn't talk about it. You probably found out and just pulled away. Now let's look. Let's look and see what the guilt and guilt and sabotage. Let's see what comes out. Or guilty. Who is this and what's happening here? They regret you putting your guard up. So firm boundaries are needed to be put in place now, Virgo. I feel like now, because this came, this flipped right on top of the page of wands. And your energy toward this situation is now that I know the truth, I'm setting up firm boundaries. I'm not playing anymore. I'm serious and I'm going to protect everything that I have worked so hard for. Somebody is feeling threatened by whatever this is because you looked at somebody to be honest and you found out that they lied, right? You found out that they weren't truthful. Yeah, let's see. All right, Virgo, you're talking to me. So what else is it? Yeah, here it is. Found out you're saying they're a liar. I found out that they lied and I'm trying my best to be strong. Here you are. I told you. I knew this was you. Trying your best to be strong, even though you feel defeated. You feel like that was underhanded. Somebody really fought dirty or whatever they did was really underhanded. Like they did it with hot, like no disregard for these people, whoever this is. And this could be you, their family, friends, whoever. And they don't care. They just feel like they'll do anything to win or something like that even lie but they're sloppy like you were bound to find this out this is annoying a little bit annoying but i see you here being strong and you're setting firm boundaries and it's like because this person is a liar they lied lied to you you have to be strong because now you know that they're sneaky somebody here showed you that you can't trust them Show me guilt and sabotage. Somebody's thinking about this. Thinking about this. Trying to stay enthusiastic about things. They are thinking about you. Show me guilt and sabotage. Somebody is feeling guilty for being immature with the page of wands, being a child. And somebody is saying, I should have stood up for us. I should have stood firm on what I really believe. Somebody was saying that I was immature. Maybe they felt like they were being a follower. Somebody could have had this opportunity or whatever new thing they had. It's something that was getting this person distracted and all in their nerves or something like that. They were burdened. They had a lot going on, too much weight on their shoulders. 
or the burden from something was draining them. But that's not an excuse to be immature and do something that you know is going to bring the tower down. Like, what does it have to do with lying? They could have just been honest. Somebody saying, I still am holding on to a bunch of old habits and old ways that don't serve me. With the four of pentacles, I feel like this person is still doing things the same immature way. With the page of wands and the four of pentacles, they're immature. And somebody is saying, I should have stood my ground. Now, this is burden. This is a burden. I created burdens. Guilty. What else are they feeling guilty about? Just being immature, careless, here, there, and everywhere. Somebody is saying I could have been a, a better, I could have took better care of myself. I could have took better care of you. I was too busy gallivanting, running around, doing too much, and I should have been focused. I should have been paying attention. I was in this explorative energy just doing the most. Somebody's admitting that they were being childish and ripping and running, just being very immature in and out, not really grounded, not stable, not secure. And you knew this. Somebody was hiding the fact that they were just ripping and running, being immature, not really doing what they were supposed to do. And Virgo, I feel like you knew this and you were doing your best to try to be patient. You're saying I've been investing in this person and they're being careless and reckless and not really caring about how I feel or what the outcome could be. So it's like I'm, I'm investing and waiting and being patient and they're not making good on this investment. It's not happening fast enough for me. Like you feel like they could be doing more instead of just messing up. Somebody is admitting that I was immature. I know you know. I know you're being patient. I know you're intuitive. You probably could read me. You probably know. And you're being patient with me. The Seven of Pentacles is still investing in me. And they feel really guilty about that because you didn't give up on them. This could definitely be about a child or somebody's child or somebody's loved one. Doesn't have to be. It could definitely be in a relationship. And it could have something to do with a marriage as well or a higher level of commitment. Show me facade. So the mask came off. You found out somebody's secret. Hmm. You found out that something ended. This money, this happy family, whatever this firm foundation is that you thought it was going to be with this person, this happily ever after energy, it's an ending to that. Somebody put an end to it. Oh, Lord. What the heck? You're ending a relationship because you feel like this person was fake or this is the end of the bliss that had bliss and happily ever after having more than enough finances or a great financial opportunity. Something happened here. What's the world representing? The world is completion of a cycle, successful completion of a cycle. And I feel like it's completed successfully like it is well because now you know it wasn't complete until you knew the truth. And now that you know the truth, this cycle is closed. And the world indicates a new beginning as well. So something new happening. Show me the world. Yeah. With the Page of Pentacles, a new offer. A magician in reverse. Somebody manipulating a situation. With the magician in reverse, it could be a trickster. What in the world is the magician doing in the reverse? That's not your energy. I just feel like somebody was being a manipulator or something. Or they're trying to manipulate something. Maybe, but the, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It could mean stagnation or um, scattered energy or confusion. Um, it could mean hesitation. But it, it does mean manipulation or trickery, right? And you have to be careful. And I feel like somebody did manipulate or they tried to trick you with the sun card. But it was illuminated to you because this is God outshining their moon. So they were trying to operate in secrecy and keep secrets, high priestess and the moon. And this could have something to do with the Pisces as well. But 
with the sun shining, illuminating whatever this is that they were hiding. I feel like this is God giving you clarity. This is illumination. You finding out that somebody manipulated you or lied. And it has something to do with the ending of financial endeavor or money or something like that. You thought that you could trust this person. Everything was going well. And it's the end to that. Something got revealed to you. Now you know that you can't trust this person. You got to watch out for them. And you have to make sure that they're doing exactly what they say. Show me until death tears apart. Wait, what's the seven of swords? Yeah, standing your ground with the queen of swords energy. Yeah, you let somebody know about being sneaky. I feel like this is you being direct. You judging them, making a judgment about this person. Judging them to um deeming them a liar, all right. You're seeing them for the liar that they are now. I feel like you see this person in a different light, yeah. Somebody told you so. This Empress card could be representing a boss or a lady, a female energy that is in charge, the leader, so their boss, their teacher. Their mother figure, somebody told you that their actions caused them to have to get sent away. Or they their actions caused them to walk away from, from your person. So whoever this is, something happened where this person got left behind. They got fired. Um, you're leaving the relationship. You're walking away from being this person's wife. Something of that nature. For my guys, you could just found out that somebody lost their job and they've been stringing you along the whole time, manipulating you, hiding stuff, hiding how they really feel or whatever the case may be. Somebody hid this because they're afraid of what people might say. They didn't really want to hurt you. Somebody wants to mend your relationship, but somebody was being, they admitted up here guilty for sabotaging this, for being immature for holding on to old habits, doing things the same old way and kind of being reckless and just roaming free, just doing things and not thinking. It's like not really recognizing the consequence in something while they're riding around on this horse with the Knight of Wands, just exploring, doing whatever. Yeah, it's just like somebody was taking, taking chances that somebody could be restless you know, just, mm, it's sad. But anyway, let's go to contracts and agreements. What's this contract career and commitment? Yeah, something about financial endeavors, Virgo. You found out about something that happened with this person. Yeah, see, somebody got fired or they're homeless. Somebody got left out in the cold. Somebody is sad, feeling regret, deep regret about getting left out in the cold or kick to the curb or something and I feel like this empress somebody has a female boss and this boss had to fire somebody or had to end something with somebody this could even be a lawyer serving papers with the hierophant in the page of, I mean in the knight of cups and the two of wands somebody serving papers leaving some kind of departure that made when you found out it made this person feel like a failure oh <sighs> Lord, it's definitely something about money. Yeah, six of wands. Somebody left out of the cold, left out in the cold of a recognized victory. People were proud of this person. But their toxic habits, their toxic ways, addictions, or the toxic connections that they have, they always have a way to get connected with the devil energy and it pulls them back every time. Cause the missed opportunity. Yeah, this person was too busy focused on these empty cups and not really focused on the blessing that was in front of them. And this is why they feel guilty. Show me more. Talking about the soul. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Wow. Yeah, Virgo. This is this is y'all. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Star card, the Lovers. And the Ten of Cups. So it looks like the King of Swords. Look at everybody showing up. The King of Swords. So somebody is sad, depressed, and upset about what they did. Upset about their choice. 
this communication got them all in their feelings. Whatever you said to them has them thinking about their actions and really feel regretting hurting you. Yeah. About all this confusion and not being careless with their choices, not choosing correctly and not paying attention, creating illusions and lying. This is lies. This is somebody making up stories, pretending that something is what it's not. Look at all these things in these cups. It's like <laughs> they just kept your head spinning. Yeah. And they regret it. They regret lying. Look, look at you. You're like, oh, you're not hiding anything from me. You found out. Somebody got exposed. And this secret brought them to their knees. You finding out this secret brought them to their knees. And somebody really regrets it. They want to fix this now. They're sad about it. And they want to fix this now. They want to heal things. So this is the energy that you're going to be dealing with within the next couple of days, the next few days. Going into the weekend, this is definitely going to be a factor. It's going to be a part of your weekend. You either are going to be overcoming it already by the weekend or just going through it so prepare yourself for this and watch this reading as many times as you want so you can be able to stay grounded um yeah somebody is they about to feel really bad all hell gonna break loose and i feel like you're definitely gonna put this person in there please <sighs> try your best to stay calm okay Love you guys. Thanks for being here with me and I will see you on the next video. Bye my lovies.